Hello everyone, my name is Quad and welcome to the Hall of Mirrors, a Warframe lore series in which we take a look at all the Warframe aspects from the beginning to the end. Today we will cover Kulervo, one of the proto-Warframes that has a tragic story behind him, from refusing to aid his brothers and sisters to committing murder. He has committed seven crimes and one felony which landed him into the Duvirian prison system. But we need to go back. During the time of the Orokin, Kulervo wanted to impress one of the executors by killing a citizen of the Empire. With this, he has achieved attention, but not in the way he wanted. You, Kulervo, thought an executor's favor was a thing to be stolen and worn. You spilled precious Orokin blood before seeking the executor out for approval. Hated Kulavo, did you truly believe he could love you? You are forevermore a low murderer. With Kulervo still out of jail or prison, Proto Warframes tried to massacre everyone from the lowly Dax to the high executors, and one of the Warframe was Kulervo. But Kulervo did not want to aid his brothers and sisters in arms, rather staying out of it. You witnessed the slaughter as the Orokin eradicated your defective, demented brothers and sisters and did nothing to aid them, choosing to tremble in your cowardly seclusion. A traitor twice over. Kulavo, bloody-handed, I charge you with cowardice. But there was time to act, when the Dax came after his mother, searching for Kulervo. He butchered the Dax, and managed to kill his mother in the process as well. The Archimedean Eineke, your mother, lived. And you, like the vermin you are, scurried after her. In butchering the Dax, whom the executors charged with taking you into just custody, you, laughably, managed to kill the very woman you came to rescue. The third charge. Flight from just custody. Seeing how things are turning on his side, Clervo decided to join in the coup over the Orokin, destroying the local government branches, and raining their homes. Upon the arrival of the wretched Tenno, you struck. Out of what? A desire for redemption? You thought to strike the Orokin where it hurt. Their laboratories, their edifices of government, their homes. To distract, to buy time. Idiot. You are charged with treason. Kulervo, a proto-Warframe, angry at the Orokin, went to the Tenno and helped them see what the Orokin do and how they treat their population. With this, he has sown discontent and helped spark a rebellion. You saw the new generation of your kind, and the Tenno, whose deviltry blent with theirs. And you began to whisper, corruption into their ears, weave dark thoughts through the coils of their minds, incepting, as is your want, chaos and disaster. You are charged with espionage. Towards the end of the Old War, the Tenno, under the leadership of the Lotus, pushed back the sentient threat and rebelled against their golden masters, the Orokin, on the night of the Naga Drums. The Orokin Empire took its last step over the cliff, with the Tenno and Proto Warframes uniting under one banner and destroying their golden lords. The night of the Naga Drums. Your incepted chaos bloomed, and the beautiful Gilded Empire fell. Were you entirely responsible? Of course not. You are, after all, a fool. But one need not be entirely responsible for the murder of an empire to be punished for their role in it. 
and punished you shall be for a second count of treason. Kalervo was tasked to take down one of the executors, presumably Ballas, but he was not successful. He was thrown into jail and made to rot for his sins, forever kept in his golden prison with the rage of executors seemingly strong enough to manifest an island where Kalervo resides in the fabled world of the Doviri. As the Empire burned, you found the one executor you coveted and despised most. You presumed to raise your foul hand against him, one of the seven. But he did not die so readily as you had hoped. Thus, I lay upon your wretched head your ultimate crime. Attempted regicide, and with it your punishment, and the executor's eternal vengeance. And with this, Kulervo's story is over. You have been through all the crimes, but there is still one more felony, that being collecting so many resources for his blueprint and his parts. In my opinion, he deserves to rot, eternally, like a beast he is. With this, I thank you for watching, please like, comment, share, or maybe even subscribe, and also, have a very nice day. Bye, guys.